Well, hello there. Happy Sunday. Cecilia here. And today I want to share with you how to ask, seek, and knock to reach your business goals. That's right. My three-step process that I use every day to build my business. And today I am sharing this three-step process with you. So if you are watching me here live today and this is your first time, give me a five in the comments. If you've been here before, give me a fist bump or a wave. And if you're watching the replay, give me hashtag replay. If this is your first time, please um, click on following on my page, or there might be somewhere um, actually in the link, but if you click my name, you can click on following, and then you'll get notified when I go live, so that way you can join in on the conversation. All right, I'm going to make sure that you can hear me. That's always important, and get this shared in a couple of places. Okay. Yep, you can hear me, so we're good to go there. And then we will go ahead and get this started. Once again, I'm going to share with you how to ask, seek, and knock. Ask, seek, and knock to reach your business goals. So let me go ahead and get this shared. For those who don't know me, my name is Cecilia Morris, and I go by the tagline. I'm your engineer by education and your home business owner by desire. And I've been in the network marketing home business arena for over 10 years. And now I like to help network and affiliate marketers learn how to use digital marketing strategies correctly to build their brand and their business online. Um, and then I also um, provide personal coaching. If that's something you may be interested in, I will give you a free 30 minute consultation where we can discuss where you're at in your business, where you want to go and how I can possibly help you bridge the gap. All right, so get this shared in a couple of places. We'll go ahead and get started. Telling you my three-step process, my ask, seek, knock process for building your business. And mind you, most of what I teach is for online businesses. However, this does work for um, brick and mortar as well. So one more place, and we'll go ahead and get started with today's lesson. Thank you for joining, by the way. I do appreciate having you on. If you are here, give me a shout out and say hello so I can say hello back as well. All right, so what is the three-step process? Well, first, I want to share with you where this came from. So uh, my lesson, my scripture for, I think it was yesterday, was Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8. And it reads, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Verse 8, for everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. And the reason why this scripture resonated with me is because as I have stepped full time into the entrepreneurial world, I have definitely been so blessed with the people that I have met and have been able to help along the way. And I wanted to think about how this relates not only to my personal life, but to my business as well. And also, thank you for everyone who's complimented me on my top knot. No, I still haven't been able to get in with my braider. I'm actually going to find me somebody new, hopefully by Tuesday. But thank you for the compliments, by the way. All right. So, anywho, ask, seek, knock to reach your business goals. And one thing this is about in life as well. Remember, verse 8 said in Matthew 7, for everyone who asks, receives. So, let's talk about that one first. What are you asking for in your business? And are you asking for what you want in your business? Asking for money is not the right thing to ask for. How about you ask for the skills to learn how to talk to people and build relationships? How about you ask for the skills to understand how to use technology so that way you can stop going to hotel meetings, having home parties and doing three-way calls. Now, some of that may still be necessary later on down the line, but for initial contacts um, in the internet world, um, that's just not not necessary anymore. But um, how about you ask for um, guidance on how to build your business? It's ask for what you want, but make sure you're clear on what that is. You may ask for money, and maybe the reason why God isn't delivering you money is because maybe you're not responsible with the money that he's already given you. Because you have to be grateful, thankful, and practical with what you've already been blessed with, excuse me, oops, <laughs> before you can ask for more. So think about your business and ask for what it is that you want. Is it more prospects? Is it more people to talk to? Is it the skills? Once again, to understand this internet, but make sure you're clear in asking for what you want. Is it more sales? Do you have a list of prospects, but you don't know how to make the sale um, because you haven't mastered closing techniques? So once you are clear with what you want and you ask for what you want, the next step is to seek out the people that you can help. 
Everybody is not your prospect. I have said this before and I'll say it again. Everybody is not your prospect. You want to find the people there who out there who are most interested in the product, service, or opportunity that you have to offer. You want to find the people that you can help because those are the people who you will most likely get your wants from. Those things that you ask for in number one are going to come from the right people that you seek out in number two. So you want to seek out the people that you can help. And remember, you are coming from a place of service. You are here to help people. Most people think it's um, in their network or affiliate marketing business, um, they just want the sale. If I just get a sale, then it'll be okay. The sale, the sale, the sale. No, what'll be okay is helping someone get over whatever fear they have, the, get the desires that they want, um, to fill a need that somebody has. Your product may not be that thing for them, but you may have other things that you can offer that can benefit them. So it's by seeking out the people that you can help that you will get what you ask for in number one. And then number three, you need to knock on the doors of people that can help you reach your goals. So many times I talk to my clients and the first thing they um, mention most of the time is how people do not support, their family does not support them. Let's keep it real. Their family is not supporting them because they don't see the vision. They don't see the dream. Remember, it's your dream. It is your vision. It is not for them. And if you are constantly um, told negative things from your family about your goal, your vision, and your dreams, well, it's biggest way to get over that is to quit talking to them about it because all that negativity will breed more negativity and then it leads to self-doubt to where you think that you can't when you know that you can because if god gave you the idea he will bring you the means to um reach that goal so quit talking to him because you don't need that type of negativity in your life so one of the things if you read here inspire others that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you are doing in number two, once again, but in number three, you want to reach out to people that can help you reach your goals. Don't talk to somebody who hasn't been where you're at to try to get you to the next level. You need to be leveling up, not leveling down. You want to reach out to the people that can help you reach your business goals. So this leads into my mini masterclass that I am having on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you're one of those people who has asked, how can I use the internet to build my business? If you know your target market, the people that you want to help, then this is your opportunity to knock on my door to get my help to help you reach your goals. I am having a minute masterclass on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. In this masterclass, I'm going to teach you how to correctly build your Facebook fan page, not a business page, but a fan page. I'm going to show you the types of products that you can offer as a lead magnet, and you can do this with and without a website. I'm going to go through the motions of how to set up your email autoresponder for free using software that's available to everyone. I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook ad and have it run on autopilot. Plus, I will give you bonuses that will put you on the fast track to success. Once again, you got to level up if you want to grow in your business. So that is my three-step formula. I'm going to put the link to the mastermind here in the comments. If you are watching this on YouTube or LinkedIn, um, the link will be in the description. If you are watching this after um, Tuesday the 31st at 7 p.m., I will make a way for you to get access to this mastermind if you are still interested, but it's best that you are there live because there are things that you will get live that you might not get on the recording. So the link to the masterclass is there in the comments or in the description if you're watching on YouTube and LinkedIn. So that is my three-step formula. Ask for what you want with clarity. Seek out the people that you can help. Knock on the doors of people that can help you reach your business goals. It's all about leveling up. So if you're serious about building your business and your brand online, I encourage you to attend this masterclass because within one hour, I will take 
you from, I will show you in an hour how to start with just a personal Facebook page and end up with the fan page and a Facebook ad, an email autoresponder and a lead magnet all in 60 minutes. So if any of what I said sounds Greek to you, but you know you need to know this because I'm telling you that's what you need to build your business, then make sure you click the link in the comments or the description to get registered for the masterclass so that way you can learn the same tools and skills that I use every day and that I teach my clients to build their brand and their business online. Once again, my name is Cecilia Morris. This is my three-step formula for business success. I appreciate you joining in with me. And once again, if you are watching the replay, just drop me some comments because I do come back and respond to everyone. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And to all my worker bees out there um, that are headed in tomorrow, get a good night's rest and have a wonderful week. And I will see you Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just click the link in the comments to get registered. Thanks so much and have a great day.